Hi guys, today I'm going to show you what you can do with a really little canvas and just have fun with it. And so I'm going to make a little sign that says love and it's great for like an office or on your bookshelf if you need some extra space taken up, whatever. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm mixing up some mint colored paint and I just used a robin's egg blue and white and just a little bit of gold for some sparkle, you know? So I'm just gonna coat this little canvas. It's probably about two inches wide by, hmm, I don't know, six to eight inches long, something like that. It's not that big. And so after that, I'm painting the edges because it always looks nicer if you just take the time to go around the edges of your canvas and it looks more like a store-bought decoration or like just more professional, you know? So after you do that, you can go around the top again with just an extra coat, just so no white of the canvas is showing through, because sometimes that texture is hard to cover. All right, the next thing I did is I took gold acrylic paint and I started my letters. So the first one is L and I just lightly drew it in and then I made it thicker. And this will probably take about three coats. I think I did about three coats for each letter, maybe four depending on the color of paint you have underneath. And the cool thing about this project is I'm using recycled stuff and scraps from previous projects. So you can see I laid down that O with a scrap from the book ball video from last week. And I just put some gold acrylic paint on the back of it to just get it to stick to the thing. I didn't even use glue, so and it stuck fine. It was great. Nothing bled through. Anyway, I did my other letters and then I went over it with multiple coats. As I said, about three coats is not a whole lot, and so that's nice. And so after you do that, I mean, you can copy off of fonts or whatever you want to. I just kind of made up my own. I was fine with the plain bold letters, and I don't know, I didn't think it needed to be perfect because I'm gonna do other stuff. So next you take some tacky glue, and I decided that in, in like each scallop of the flower, I was gonna add a pearl. And I had a bunch of leftover pearls from this old project I did like a year ago, and I decided to use them. And I really liked that extra touch on the O because it made it look really rustic and vintage-y, but modern. I don't know, I really just loved it, and I thought it was a great touch. I really like lace and pearls and mint and gold, obviously. So anytime I can put those in a craft, I will. <laughs> so. You can use hot glue. I tried it for like three pearls and it's a stringy mess. So if you don't want to burn your fingers and stuff, then I would just advise you not to do that and just wait for it to dry with tacky glue or Elmer's or something. Okay, after everything dried, I took some twine and I left this space on the end because I wanted to wrap some twine around it and tie a bow. So I just glued the back of my canvas with hot glue and stuck the twine to it. And then after that, you just hold it for a second and then pull it tight and start wrapping. You want to make sure no canvas really shows through all the wrapped strings, so wrap it with all the strings close together too. And afterward, it should start looking like this, and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Now, if you plan to hang this on the wall, then you probably don't want to wrap twine around it, but I'm just leaning it up against like books on my bookshelf, so it's okay. Anyway, once you get to this part, this is about as thick as I want it. I'm going to glue it to the back. And boom, get your glue gun, get your glue, and then boom, stick it on. You can cut off the excess, and actually I used the excess to make a cute little bow. And I just thought this was such a soft, cute little thing for my living room, and it'll probably go up in my office space after I move this summer. I don't know, or my bedroom, who knows, it can move anywhere, really, because it's so small. And yeah, you could even make it a seasonal craft and just put it up in the spring, who knows. Well, anyway, that's pretty much what it looks like, and then I snipped my excess on the bow, and this canvas was kind of loose, and so I just like glued the canvas to the string and made it look tighter, and then this was the end result. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do weekly craft videos and also don't forget to check out my art channel because I do craft or I do art time lapse videos on there. Okay, well, I hope you have a fantastic week and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.